All right, you guys. So the first step is to always keep your base ready here. I have my base ready in separate layers. The next step is to actually create shadows and highlights. So for that, what I did, I created a new layer and added clipping mask to it. You can just alpha lock the current layer and then add the shadows and the highlights. And also this video is not um, software specific. I'm using Procreate right here, but you can actually use any software or app for this to work you just have to follow this similar step so step number two is essential which is adding base layer of shadow and highlight and by base layer i mean the shadows are not going to be that deep and the highlight is also not going to be that deep they are going to be really gentle really subtle but yes they are going to be there so also, it kind of also depends on the reference or the object you are drawing. So if the object you're drawing does not really have a lot of shadows and a lot of highlights or really deep shadows, for instance, then um, you don't really have to actually build upon the shadow. But for this example, for this strawberry example, I just created this first base layer for the highlight and the shadow as well and they are really really subtle the next step is to add detail elements so in this example in the strawberry example the detail elements are going to be the shades that appear over the strawberry and i'm going to be drawing those and i'm going to be again i am actually looking at the reference for this one again whatever you're drawing just make sure you're looking at the reference and also if you want to draw the strawberry yourself as well then go ahead and follow the exact same technique you can also just actually follow the exact same color palette as well all you have to do is just take screenshot and just pick colors from there create your own palette and just um, start drawing the strawberry because i actually did not save the color palette so yeah you'll have to actually take screenshots but yeah in this step, in this third step, what we are doing is we are adding detail elements. So whatever detail elements your object has created in a very this basic manner where we have not already added any details yet. So the next step is to actually add details to the detail elements. So here what I started doing is I first of all changed the layer mode to multiply because the seas were looking really, really light. And then I went ahead and alpha locked the clipping mask layer where I added the seeds. Then I went ahead and picked up um, soft blend brush and I picked up black color. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this um, tiny shadow inside the seed itself to actually make it appear like there's this dent in the strawberry. It's really, really subtle. So also I'm using soft blend brush, which actually blends and paints at the same time. If you're not using such a brush, you can always actually go back and forth from your brush to the blending brush itself. The next step is to add deeper shadows. And for that as well, I created a new layer, added clipping mask to it, and I actually picked up black color. You can just go straight to black color and pick up your soft air brush. And what you're going to do is you're going to um, put really light pressure onto the screen so that there is not a lot of pigmentation because we are using black color. But I really like using black color to add deeper shadows because then I kind of don't have to go back and forth with different colors. And also whenever I draw realistic strawberries, I always use black color to add the deeper shadow and it looks really really good so as you guys can see the black is not jet black i actually kept it that way i actually kept the black super duper black when this where the strawberry and the leafy part of it are kind of meeting each other because that's where we want to have this deep shadow which is looking really harsh and really um deep and adding depth to that part of the strawberry i hope this is making sense everywhere else i just make made sure that i'm touching the screen really light-handed also i did not use any blending brush i will link all the videos on blending down in the description so go check those out here i started adding highlights around the seeds so if your detail elements in your objects has any kind of highlight going on, go ahead and do it now. So as I said, initially, we initially kind of built up the base layer for highlights and shadows. Here we are actually building up the more 
harsh looking highlights and we just created the harsh looking and the deep looking shadow now is the time for the harsh and deep looking not deep looking but prominent looking highlight for the object so for this example the seeds needed highlights around them so using a soft airbrush i am doing so and i'm not gonna blend this out at all now once i was happy with that i added this overall highlight on the strawberry just to make it look that much more realistic so i added it on all the highest points of the strawberry also at the right hand side or the right edge of the strawberry as well i just wanted to make sure that the strawberry is actually reflecting back a lot of light both at the highest points of it and also towards the edge as well just to make it look more three-dimensional if that makes any sense so that's what i did and once again i'm not going to be blending this out i want to actually keep it harsh looking only then i went ahead and did the same thing to the leaf the leaves part as well i actually picked up soft airbrush and reduced the size of it and added white color around it just to give it um, again that realistic kind of look and yeah that's how you approach detailing your object or anything you're drawing for this instance the strawberry i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up also if you end up actually drawing this do tag me on instagram i would love to see that other than that i will see you guys in my next video